So a bombshell report on Harry and how he has a return to go back to the UK. Hey guys, this is Marab Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, please do. Let's get to 340,000 subscribers, guys. It's just one click. It's all you have to do, Marad Nation. Let's go, guys. It's just one click. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to. I would appreciate it. There's a dollar sign there. You can send whatever you want. And let's get into this. And that sigh, please use it with heavy use, not light, loose heavy use because and that sigh please use it with heavy connotation not loose connotation when it comes to whatever the hell we're going to read today that's been ushered out by the uk press but prince harry has sought advice from the trusted former aides in britain who are the trusted former aides in britain i don't know it comes like coming like the avengers on how to mastermind a return from exile in the us the mail on sunday can reveal sources said in the bombshell report that the duke of sussex is consulting people from his old life as a working royal after allegedly growing dissatisfied with advice from american-based image experts this overtures the overtures signify the first stage in a strategy to rehab Harry that would involve him spending more time in the UK to repair his relationship with his father and potentially initiate a partial return to the royal fold. Sources stress that Harry and Meghan, who have spent time the past four years living in self-imposed exile and in California with their two children, are not seeking are not seeking a permanent return. The news, this newspaper can also reveal that the couple have parted company um, with yet another American PR advisor as well. So this is a bombshell report that somehow they can reveal, but what they couldn't reveal is that Harry was returning to the UK. What they couldn't reveal was Harry's trip to New York and all the work that he had to do. What they couldn't have access to was Prince Harry's trip to Colombia. They didn't have access to any of this information, but somehow they're able to obtain bombshell in-depth reports about how Harry is desperate to rehabilitate his image in the UK. I'm not buying any of this bombshell report that the Daily Beast, the Mirror, the Mail on Sunday, the Sun have all ushered out. It's coming like some form of a coordinated planned attack and I'm not buying any of it. It's called Operation Bring Harry In From The Cold. Or maybe perhaps the UK press are the ones that are in the cold and they are just simply in denial about it. And I think that is what is going on here because I'm not buying any of this information about how Harry and his, you know, is exiled, the language that he is used is quite violent and that this is the first stage of many. Where is this all coming from? To me, it's looking like we were embarrassed. We were embarrassed. We had no information on returning to the UK. We lost out all that money on reporting. Let's come with some exclusive information and dig deep to random aides that barely know anything and just ramble on, use a sentence or two and make it more dramatic into a bombshell report. That is what this is giving me. I'm not buying into it, especially understanding the fact that Prince Harry can manipulate the press now very well. Now knowing that he can do that and he's learned to do that, I'm not buying any of this even more so. So this doesn't make any sense to me and it might make sense to you or it might not make sense to you. The Daily Beast is also reporting that Princess Diana's family is driving Prince Harry and William to try and reconcile. Now this would make sense to me that, you know, Diana's family, the Spencer clan, they are close to Harry and I would assume that they are somewhat close to William in some kind of way or are at least in contact. And therefore I can see their family trying to, you know, put Harry and William together in some kind of way. It's not gonna work because when you have siblings as they grow older, they don't discuss or talk to each other outer family individuals can't do anything about it you can try as much as you want to put people in a room pay for their therapy nothing unless those brothers or sisters do want to actively try and solve things together you cannot do anything to solve their relationship that's why the wife of the brother or you know the other um, husband of the sister they don't get involved because you can't do anything about it bro if the siblings aren't talking the siblings aren't talking it's only up to them to resolve situations as they get older and it's not gonna work out because William has a big ego for me siblings arguing isn't an issue no matter how old they are that's never been an issue but when you are in your adulthood and you are 35 plus and you as one of the brothers is putting your hands and getting physical there is something seriously wrong with you because if you're putting your hands on your brother and you're both much older in your 40s and 30s and etc then in my sole opinion that is very easy of you to put your hands on your wife that is just how i see it it might be a bit out there but if you are in your 40s and you're arguing with your brother and you put your hands on him what makes you think that you're not putting your hands on your wife because at that age 
arguing should only be verbal. Like, brothers, and believe me, I come from a house of multiple brothers, none of us put our hands on each other anymore. Like, we did that when we were kids. So, if you're still putting your hands on your brothers, then best believe you're probably putting your hands on your wife. That's just how I see it. Or your anger issues, you have severe aggression issues that, you know, you cannot control at that age. So, I don't know. Make of this what you will. I feel like Princess Diana's family trying to put them two together is more, is more believable to me. Whereas this other bombshell report is more of a, we got embarrassed, we didn't know that he was coming, and you know, we have to try to come up with something for them to read, some kind of material, and therefore we're going to mask it as a bombshell exclusive. Because if you have these bombshell exclusive reports, babes, the UK press, why didn't you guys know that he was going to London? Why didn't you guys know that he was attending the funeral? Why didn't you guys know he was there? Why are you guys desperately asking the public, oh, if you've seen Harry and William, please phone us to send us images. It's embarrassing. Look at your age mates, do you understand? Look at the other press, look at Fox News and CNN calling them the untrustable source. They are embarrassing you guys left, right and center and you guys can't deal with it. And I love to see the downfall well, not really downfall, but you know, the downgrade of the UK press. Do subscribe, comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It's just one click to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this madness. Do subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.